All right, guys, welcome to another opening. I'm going to be doing a booster box of the Fusion Strike today. Um, let's get this thing open and on its way. Gengar right there on the top. I'll show you there. On the topper, Fusion Strike. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and actually set the box up here, get it out of the opening space, and then all of my cards I'll probably stack elsewhere as we go along. So, without further ado, So, okay, so the first reverse hollow is a Mawile, and our first rare card is, all right, a Genesect V. That's pretty sweet. Some little first pack magic there going in. And I'm just going to keep pulling from the box until all 36 are done. So, all right. So, spongy gloves. Is the reverse and the hollow or the uh, the rare card today is a holographic deoxys. Okay, reverses the Kangas Khan, and the rare is non-holographic Maractus. Okay. So Reverse Hollow is the Phalanx with a Gudra non-holographic as the rare card. And then remember any of my friends that are out there that are also collecting in my local area. If you're watching this and you see something you want to do for trade, let me know. And you will most likely make it happen as long as I already have something for my master set. So all right, energy. Come on, get back into focus. Okay, so the Swadloon and then an Arcanine non-holographic. Actually did pretty well, I think, on the ETBs that I opened up the other day. Um, so I'd like to try and get some more of that going on this box here. So the reverse hollow is the Carvana, and the rare card is hey, a Breloom V. I'll go ahead and set that 
right there in the background. I don't think I've pulled any of those two yet for for the set. However, um, I still do have one more booster box to go after this, which will be opening up on a later date. I'm still looking for that Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection for that gold Pikachu and Charizard. And so I could also finish out my set. I'm still looking for Charizard, Mew EX, and Gardevoir out of that 25th anniversary set. So if any of you have extras to trade and that are in my local area, I'm down for that too. So Reverse Hollow is the Clam Pearl and a Golem non-holographic for the rare card. That was weird. This, that one wasn't even crimped on the top. It just was like straight up open. Oh. Oh. I see. Okay, so this is going to be awesome. So, Dunsparce. So what happened was, is this card got into the crimp. So the entire crimp is on the front and back of that card. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss that over there. So the Electros is the reverse hollow, and the rare card is a non-holographic Meloetta. I don't know if they do anything with those cards that have the crimson stuff on them on the top from the factory, but I don't know if that would be considered like an error card to make it, you know, the value change in it or just make it worth nothing at all. I would think that would be something I'd have to research. All right. I still, as many times as I've pulled this card already, I still like the artwork and all the vibrant colors that are in this Smeargle card. So we got the Cramomatic as the Reverse Hollow with Agorbis as the non-holographic rare. All right, Sandy Guest is the reverse hollow with the rare bean, a chandelier V. All right, go ahead and stick that in there as well. Yeah, some of these. Uh, cards are very hard to pull, being the biggest set um, that they've had for the Pokemon TCG. So, anything that we get is good. Do Spider is the not is the reverse hollow with the rare being a non holographic Blissey. Trying to burn through these as quickly as possible. Looks like we're already about nine minutes in on this first one. And just as a reminder, I do use the code cards. Um, myself on Pokemon Online.
and I do make trades and stuff on there as well. So Sizzlepeed is the reverse hollow with the rare card being a rainbow rare dancer. Nice. The texture in that is amazing. I like that. Go ahead and set that up there. We'll get those four cards pushed aside. All right. <laughs> Swamper is the reverse hollow with the rare card being a Chandelure VMAX. All right, that is pretty awesome. I'm going to stick that actually with that one right there. Uh, apparently the show went off on my TV, so give me one second. Start that back up for him, and I'm going to continue on going. I've been waiting to do this, this opening for almost a week and a half now, so as long as he's got his Pokemon on the TV, I think we're good to go. Um... So, Mankey is the reverse with another Arcanine non-holographic as the rare card for that one. Uh, we're getting close to being done with the one side. Oh, hey, this happened again. So, I got a Crow Gunk with uh, all the creases there on top for this, for this pack. I hope this isn't like a continuous theme they got going on. Because that's sad because eventually it's going to ruin actually a card that's actually worth something more than probably a quarter. So... The Zorora Reverse Hollow with Toxicroak as the non-holographic rare. That's got some nice color to that one. I like that Garbodor. All right, Skitty is the reverse hollow with Zerora. Zerora as the non holographic rare card. Okay, Pan Sage is the reverse hollow, and the rare card is a Dragapult holographic. I'm knocking that camera a little bit. All right. All right, Luxio is the reverse hollow with a Selgor as the non holographic rare card. That actually completes the whole entire 
right side of the pack opening today for this booster box. Go ahead and shove that in there and get started in on that left hand side. Um, so far it hasn't been too bad with you know five pulls out of this and then having two crimped cards. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and check on those to see what actually happens with those. If it actually increases or decreases the value of the card and still makes them, you know, worthless. Because I think they're both, uh, both common cards, actually. So... So luckily it didn't happen to like a rainbow rare or an alternate art or something. And a Selgor is the reverse hollow with the rare card being another Dragapult holographic. I do like the design change that they did give for the, the back of those code cards. So, however, it still takes away some of the surprise when you go to pull. So you already know if you're going to get a good, a good pull or not out of your pack. Um, I wish they would, you know, give it a little bit more surprise and just make them all one single backing to all of that. So Quillfish is the reverse. Sweet. With a Bolton V, I believe. Is that the alternate? It's definitely the full a full art, so that is pretty sweet. So I'm gonna put this there. That is a beautiful card. Uh, it's not, I don't see like some of the, like the, the purples and the pinks that I do from a lot of the other cards that I've seen pulled from this set, but still vibrant enough in its own sense. So it's, it's a pretty nice card. And I will take it. So we got that lightning energy. Come on, get back into focus for me there we go all right Snorlax reverse hollow with the rare card being a Latius non holographic Okay, Onyx as the Reverse Hollow, and Electros as the Non-Holographic Rare. Steelix as the reverse hollow with a center scorch as the non holographic rare card for this pack. I think we're about almost half done with this left hand side of this booster. I already have. One 
full art and one reverse rainbow. There might be something left still in this pack. Ooh, a reverse hollow smeargle. So I've not gotten that one yet. And a holographic Steelix card. And then all of these are going to be going into sleeves once uh, I get done with this, start putting the set together. And then any additional that I get of these big hitter cards are going to go straight into sleeves as soon as I pull them on the next video <clears throat> so that I can keep them in tradable or sellable condition to somebody else that actually needs them for their master set. Reverse Hollow Mantine and another Latias non-holographic rare. Toxel Reverse Hollow, and a Pikachu V as the rare card in this pack. So I have not gotten any of that. So any of the V cards that, that I'm pulling on here, I don't believe I've pulled yet. Um, so trying to get through this fairly quickly, like I said. Dark Rye Reverse Hollow, and Yvettel as the non-holographic rare card. Reverse Hollow Mag Cargo and a Grand Bull as the non holographic rare card. Okay, so, Pokerev, I was watching your video the other day, and Snom does not come as the first card into every pack, just so you know. Reverse Hollow Dancer with a Gengar VMAX, and it's funny that I actually say that because this is one of his favorite Pokemon going into this, and the artwork on this is actually pretty amazing. I like, I like what they've done. On this here so see if I can get these to continue to stand up So, Dragapult Reverse Hollow with the Galarian Cursola as the non-holographic rare card. Okay. Energy Metapod. Okay, the Zerora with the 
Swampert Holographic as the rare card for this one. So I think I've actually got some pretty cool and some pretty good pulls out of this box compared to, you know, what I've seen for other boxes that have been pulled or opened up online. So Meltan, Reverse Hollow, with an Absol Non-Holographic Rare. Getting into the last what, four packs here. Still have a chance to get something good before we finish this opening up. So... Grubbin as the reverse hollow with the rare being a non holographic Huntail. Okay, Lapras is a reverse with Corviknight being the non-holographic rare for that pack. The last two packs out of this booster here. So we'll see what we can get. Reverse holographic for alligator, and the rare card is <gasps> a full art dancer. So I got both versions of this dancer card of the, well, they still have the regular version. I still have to pull, I think I may have seen it in there, but um, that's pretty cool that I got the full art and the rainbow rare of that dancer and it doesn't look like we're going to get into any last pack magic on this however that was exciting this is you know a good box nonetheless Voltorb and Miola, Mioletta um, for that non-holographic rare for that one So as a recap, 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 I got these two here that are actually crimped at the top because the cards got in the way of the crimping. So the Crow Gunk and the Glossifloor. We got a Pikachu V Dancer in both full art and in the Rainbow Rare. The Breloom Genesect V. Chandelure in both V and V Max for that one. The Boltund V and the Gengar V Max. So all in all, this was a good booster box. Um, plenty of plenty of good pulls, and I will be opening up the other booster box here later on this week, possibly going into next week sometime. Very busy holidays coming up. So I hope you all have a good week and thank you for joining me today. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to continue uh, finding my videos online.